That's definitely better than mm -hmm. the the road to net the, the national when lighting briar mm -hmm. is everywhere. I think yeah. the briar now they play earth cut and it has more consistency against the ice lab. Yeah. But uh, January, and I think mm -hmm. Iceland is slightly advantage about the... four five five to four five. Yep. Yep. I, I I also agree that Iceland is probably slightly advantage here. The old Lightning Briar would have gotten rolled by Icelander, but the uh the newer earth based like you said, the earth based briar does have a decent amount of blues. We will see how that goes. All right, let's uh let us uh just jump into the game and I will move this wonderful chess piece away. Let's get this going. All right. Okay, so on our left, playing Bar is Nathan Crawford. On the right, playing Icelander Stormbind, we have Wen Law. Looks like Bar has won the dice roll 10 to 7. Will he go first or second? I presume he will go first. But yeah, we will the... see. Okay. Ooh, so the... First thing, okay, we got some spicy equipment here. <laughs> we yeah. got Granette Peak. We got the Alluvion Constellius, which can be very relevant in this matchup. That's actually very interesting. Uh, we also have Goliath Gauntlet. Okay, all right. We're gonna see some uh, some uh, some physical attacks from Ice Lighter. and we have Storm Striders, of course, alongside Waning Moon. I think Over on, we... on Briar's side, we have Nolrin Boots. We have Quill Hand, which has AB Crown of Siege, which is indirectly AB Tunic and Rosetta Thorn. Sorry, I cut you off. What would you What were you gonna say, Alan? I I think uh, Wen's build is quite differently from Step's build. And yeah, I, I, I don't think there's, I think that you put 10 Icelander players into a room, <laughs> you'd get 10 different decks here. Uh, so I'm interested to see what, what, what variety we got. So, um, without giving too much away, what, what, what would you say is the general strategy of, a of, a Wen's deck? Um, I, I think it's kind of a hybrid or if if you, if you can deploy frost test is the in the very early turns, mm -hmm. then you can you can uh trade trade your life on to mm -hmm. your opponents because because your damage loss will be higher because the frost test, mm -hmm. and I think that's why that's why step uh make the last game maybe a bit longer because he he should he should take some damage to mm -hmm. in, instead of blocking and he can close out the game very fast fast since he has three <sighs> three uh boss heads. But mm -hmm. I think since uh, time is uh the build is different, he brings mm -hmm. the he brings these arms, I presume. He definitely mm -hmm. has command and conquer, but but mm -hmm. Nathan has crown of seeds, so I think Yeah, that may not be so effective. He he could also be running um nourishing emptiness or something like that. So right from the start, we already saw that when was playing is playing cards that Seb is not playing. We see Ice Bind in the graveyard right now. So maybe he has more of like arsenal freezing in his uh in his strategy. Oftentimes the card that Briar puts in arsenal is like pretty important. So yep. All right, we see we also see a little bit more red pitch, or maybe he was just unlucky with his draws. So Channel Lake Frigid being deployed here. We also see red weather vane. That's uh I think Seb was running the blue one. Okay. Looks like okay. he's going to activate crown in response. Probably means he doesn't have a blue at the moment. 
Yeah, I think so. All right, so with the channel like Fidget out, this is going to be a pretty... Uh, I don't expect much here from uh, Briar. Yeah, the channel like Fidget in iStander is extremely amazing, because mm -hmm. if, you, if you play it on your opponent's turn, it, it won't trigger your... Uh, let me see. Uh, it won't trigger his the, channel the eye channel. ability. Yep, yeah, that's so it, it can it can stay uh, one more turn mm -hmm. than normal. And yep. the high proof, I, I forget, the zero cost, the arising ice card, it can stop your opponent gain mm -hmm. go again. It's also very good. Hy hypothermia. Yeah, hypothermia yep. is also very mm -hmm. good against Briar because most of the uh, Briar cards, they don't originally have go again, mm -hmm. and it can very good stop the channel mountain heroic. But yeah, I, I mean, against Briar, uh, your your main goal is stop their yeah, channel mountain hero turn, then you can win easy, more easily. I agree. All right, we have exude confidence here being deployed yeah hmm. um, i mean it, it, he probably doesn't have a blue to pump this so this is i mean even even if he has a blue take both of his cards so this yeah. is just four damage arsenal pass from uh briar here so um, I, assume, I assume pang will block mm -hmm. one or he, he... Wouldn't yeah, probably, probably one card and then maybe save a card to attack with on the next turn. Yeah. Maybe he will play his arsenal. Looks like he is. He's going to make a fro make two frostbites. Um Yep. And then I'm guessing he's going to he did that so he can waning moon. Um yeah. And then he will have a card to play next turn, or maybe he'll block with two cards. We'll see. But one card is going to be pitched here for Waning Moon. One card is going to be saved to Arsenal next turn. So the question is, what are the other two cards doing? Are they... Is this a double block? Is this a single block? I think single block is... Cause, Probably cause I... a single block, unless he really can't pay for all these. Yep. Okay. Sure. Aslander is a very mm -hmm. defense hero mm -hmm. uh, that we pay pay for a very long time because he's not not a forehand hero. Um, yep. We have. Yeah, you, you kind of play on your opponent's turn. You kind of play on your turn. You almost always want to set something into arsenal. So in terms of tempo, it feels very different. Um, yeah. I, I, I mean, I mean, most, I mean, every deck before I stand there, they, they usually they want to hold a four card hand. Yep. And I stand there is very different because he's require a lot of blue. So mm -hmm. which means, uh, if you're holding a four card hand, it won't be as effective as the. Uh, yep, because you don't threads. Yep. Yeah, and you, you, your, your goal should be more destructive mm. to stop mm. your opponent. So, yep. So sure. every time, if you can save your blues from your arsenal, you do it. Right. Yep. All right. So we see Rabble coming across here for four. Revealed a red weaver earth, I believe. Oh, it was a blue one. He whiffed. A blue one? Yeah. Oh, did he? Oh. Yeah. Okay, so that's only coming in for two here. Deploying yeah, Blizzard. That's a card that we did not see Seb run. Mm. Yeah, it is a card. Uh, won't trigger the warning boom, but it's very good on yep. Icelander because this can trigger his ability. Yep, yep. That was played from hand, though, but still pretty good. Yeah. Okay, Nathan got a blue, so it won't be too bad. Yep. All right, 
So is he going to block this too, or just going to let this through? Hmm. Something that we didn't see in the last game that we could see in this game is that if when ever gets tempo, we could start seeing the head, the ice equipment headpiece, the cornet peak, be uh, activated. In which case, that would that would cut down the briar's damage output pretty pretty significantly. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, when the tunic is off. <laughs> Yep, for sure. That that that's a very important point. Is that um, that card <laughs> that card only gets a benefit when it's a when they don't have a. Oh, we see Hyper Three being played. Okay, so this this is attacks you control can't gain go again. Of course, if a card naturally has go again. Such as Ravenous Rabble, it doesn't work, but cards like Lightning Surge that gain go again, this would be very, very strong. Played at instant speed for zero, very strong card. Yeah, it's, it's just like a more destructive blister. Yep. This is a very, very nice card. Looks like and, uh... he's going to. Block with a uh, fuse. All right. So we have a. I think that was a Channel Lake Frigid. So that's going to go to the arsenal. Waning Moon coming in here for three. And I presume he's going to block with what he has and then arsenal a card. Yeah. Going to block what he can. And. End his turn, those three frostbites will fall off. So we're seeing Wen and, and Seb have like opposite problems. Like Seb was able to get frost hexes, but wasn't able to get frostbites. Wen has been able to get frostbites, but hasn't been able to deploy frost hexes. So, you know, I, I guess when everything lines up nicely, then, then yeah. All right, lead the charge. Might be responded to here. We'll see. Hmm. Interesting. We haven't seen much arcane damage yet from Briar, so we actually haven't seen the Constellius get charged up. But that could be the 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 the, the chest piece could represent maybe two or three swings over the course of the game, depending on how how quick or how slow this game is. Yeah, it depends. Uh, Nathan, mm -hmm. bring how many arc damage. Yeah. I, I presume they have bring Bumble Spark and the yeah. set of Thorn. Yeah. Yep, it's probably just those two. Uh, unless he breaks Quill Hand, which I don't know if he will be doing that. I think he's just... Uh, maybe at the very end of the game, we'll see. All right, lead the charge into Exude Confidence. This will grant him an action point, essentially giving this go again. Yeah. Frostbite. Okay. Yep. Pay for the Frostbite. And, uh, and he has to pay an additional one for the Lake Frigid, so he should be on one, I think. Yep. Yep, should be on one. Yep, looks like they corrected that. Hmm. I think Wen is happy to see the ex-good confidence comes this earlier. 
Yes, two two yeah. exude confidence as early. It seems, I think he's quite happy with that. Yeah, he don't want to see it when he is on a mm -hmm. five four to five hill. Yep. Cooks a commotion. Commotion. Yep, a card that has been traditionally very nice against wizard, because they can't yeah. really utilize the quicken token. Um. Probably just gonna block with one card in hand and then um, arsenal the other card, I presume. Yeah, but I... if he if he if he do that, then he's kind of like casting on his turn. Yep. Well, I yeah yeah. So so it's possible that he has like a blue ice card. And he wants to activate the the head piece. Yeah. So it looks like that's what he wants to do. So he's gonna Okay, so Coax hits. He decides to give both players quicken tokens. That makes sense. Yep. Okay. So in case with no fields, it's just coming for free. Yep, just gonna tap, just gonna, you know, maybe he wants to a little bit here. Yeah, he wants to activate his warning moon to keep it, keep it, uh, and no like instead of using the corner pick here. Yep, for some damage. Yep, so if if he has. So if you if the last card is an ice card, would you prioritize the arsenal or keeping Channel Lake Frigid? Uh, if if I holding a ice card uh, or the arsenal is the ice card, I would rather mm. yeah activate my chrono pick here. But but putting putting a red card in in arsenal is quite painful because mm -hmm. you have to use one's turns to yeah to to. Yeah. Red card. Yeah. You, in general, you don't want red cards in in your arsenal as as ice liner. All right. We're seeing uh, Nathan immediately use his uh, quicken token here on scar for scar for has go again from the quicken token. So we know that when the sun hold up ice card in their arsenal, yes. Anyway, he will pitch it for the Warning Moon to keep his channel like features because this aura against Bright is very, he has large impact and you should yep. keep, keep it at any cost. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Alright, looks like Wen has decided to take the damage there. <laughs> Gives him an embodiment, not so relevant in this matchup. <laughs> Actually, it is relevant because the embodiment of Earth pops at the beginning of the turn. And Icelander can respond to that. Yeah, and it's and it's triggers, yeah, and it makes this warming go field has to go again. So Yep, yeah. yep, so so, so it is it is good. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not very relevant, but relevant. <laughs> Yeah, it's not very relevant, but, but it's relevant in this case, yep. <clears throat> All right. Oh, a lightning press. Okay. So this is a card that some Briar decks have uh, decided to abandon. But it yeah. looks like Nathan has decided to keep it. The 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 need for lightning cards in Briar is not so high anymore. Um, yeah. All right, we're seeing the sigil of permafrost being deployed here. Is it going to be fused? Looks like it's not going to be because he. Hmm. This. Is... Looks like Wen's deck is much more red heavy than Seb's deck, from what I've noticed. 
I, I, I think he wants to use the, the weather wave to mm -hmm. stop his opponent, but it turns out it's very hard to use it. And yeah, it's very hard to use when it, you can also, because you, you, it requires you need to also need to ice fields, and it's very hard to do it. Yep. So I think maybe he knows next time he won't bring this card on this match. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Maybe is Nathan defending when using the chess piece? I, I saw him has no. Uh, could be. <laughs> oh, wow. No. I see if he was quicken. Here we go. All right. Yeah, I, 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 I think, uh, I, 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 in general, if I was Briar, I think I would uh, try to deny my opponent from getting counters on their chess piece if possible. Uh, Goliath Gauntlet into, so we're seeing the power of Crown of Seeds. Normally we see Olten with Crown of Seeds, but. Briar is a Earth hero, and she can wear it just as well as Olden can. And so, effectively, this is Vanilla Eight. So, if he doesn't care about, if he can play his whole hand out, he's just going to take yeah. it here. I, yep. I don't think he. I don't think he's care. Yep, I don't think he cares. But. <laughs> Well, we see the power of the cricket token here. We see another four damage deployed here. Yeah, I and... I can we can see the Chandel Mountain on this turn. It could be. Uh, this would be a good time, especially considering Wen doesn't have an arsenal right now. Yeah. So this this turn is kind of going to be a setup turn for Wen, I think. Uh oh, if this is a Channel Mount Heroic without an arsenal. Uh oh. Uh, oh. This is this is very bad timing for Wen. Uh, oh my god. Uh, oh my. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Okay, this, this could be worse. Because now you just block out this attack, right? Yeah, if this is a erase space or something else, that's a real big problem. Yep. I mean, he, at, at least he fused with a... Uh, I mean, fusing force of nature means that... Uh, I mean, I, I think he would he would want two two cards. Oh, and this is really very very strong because he has the blue in hand. So now he has to overblock this. So this is four plus three plus one. So this is eight, but he has to block ten. Yeah, he must. He, he must has respect. to block. He must respect the blue in hand, or else he will draw. So this is basically a whole hand dump here from Icelander. Or uh, three cards plus the helmet. I, I don't think he wants to give up his opponent. Big. Oh, oh, yeah. is he... what? Oh my god! All right, that's a draw from Force of Nature. If that's another attack, this is going to be very bad. But I guess when it's just gambling that that's not an attack that he drew. If if it is a go again attack, is. Such as swarming or the rebel, then I think, yeah. I think it's lost right here. Yeah, because the force of nature will trigger again. And... Looks like it's not. So he's Ooh. okay. So it looks like he went and took a gamble, and he's okay now. So he's gonna pitch to to get a counter on his chest piece and block. Okay. Huh. That was a pretty big risk there, though, I think. But yeah. he survives, and that means he knows that the card in Nathan's arsenal is not an attack. Ooh, a nice, All right. nice card. Okay. All right, so this is one way to deal with it. All right. I don't, I don't mind this line. I think this is fine. All right, yeah, so I'm... giving three Frostbites, getting a card into arsenal, essentially means four Frostbites. That means Nathan's channel mount her up turn is over, basically. Yeah. As, unless unless Nathan holding two blues there. Otherwise. Yeah, that's oh. 
Uh, if he's yeah, only two Blue Jays, that's like the worst case scenario, but you know. Hmm. All right, so we see a counter on the on the wizard chess piece. This is a, the first time I've seen it. Alluvion Constellius. Yeah, is the task guy preview. That was the card guy preview. Yeah. We're like, all right, all right, I, I, I can dig this. This is it's kind of a niche equipment, but uh, sure, let's 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 see how it does. All right, with three frostbite tokens, even if you have a blue here, I mean, if you don't have a blue here, your turn is basically over. But even if you have a blue, your turn can be disrupted pretty heavily depending on what's in Wentz Arsenal. Gonna pitch a blue. He's gonna have to pitch another card as well. Okay, he, so he did have two blues. Okay, yeah. gonna put what? Gonna put that on the bottom. Let's get that see. out of there. Draw a new card. Is there response from Pan here? I think so. Oh. Nope. Looks like no response. Okay. Oops. Okay. Looks like there is a response. Okay. <laughs> Uh, yeah, making yeah. two frostbite. Technically, the the this should have been done before he drew the card. Yeah, but yeah. <clears throat> All right, so two more frostbites here. <laughs> Nimbles is gonna eat those two resources. All right. And then E strike, presumably, presumably just plus two here. Yeah. So seven plus three plus three is uh, thirteen. Uh, e strike for thirteen. That uh, sounds pretty good. <laughs> yeah, you have less intention to. Choose draw a card in Earth yep. Fire because you don't want to draw a Earth card and put mm -hmm. it on Arsenal is very weak. So yep. yeah, even with the Crown of Seeds, it's not really where you want to be. Although Tunic yeah. Crown of Seeds can kind of fix some of your hands, so yeah, we'll see. Looks like we're going to have a pretty big block here for two, three, three. This is a block for eight. Going to take five. The uh, Icelander's life total getting dangerously low here. Yeah, the, the good news is Nathan has so, a free extra confidence, at least. Yep. Uh, we haven't seen any Frost Hexes out of, uh, out of one yet. I don't know. This maybe, is... maybe, maybe, maybe you went side side it up. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, I guess going for a setup plan against an aggro deck may not be what you want. Looks like he's popping the quill hand. Gonna get two. Yeah. Root champs thing, here. The only thing comes into my mind is swarming Gumbu, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you if you do this, or he just want to pressure. Okay. Yeah, because this is, this is going to give him uh, a charged uh, Alluvion Constellius. Ooh. Okay, Blizzard from Arsenal. This is going to basically demand a blue here. Does he have a blue? He does okay, have Force blue. of Nature does have a blue. We'll pay for it. So this... So he's choosing E-Strike Go again. So this is five plus two arcane here. So I guess he's gonna block with the. Uh, I, I guess he's gonna pitch a blue here to block arcane, because he's yeah. pretty sure a Rosetta Thorn's coming after this. Although he it does have two plus one floating, so yeah, maybe not. But the throne doesn't have arcane damage. <laughs> yes, you're right. At the moment, it doesn't. 
Yep, yep, yep. So, so I, I'm not actually sure what's coming after this. Oh, Ooh. we see a Frost Hexer. Okay, so he d is playing them. Yeah. All right. So it does just two triggers or one trigger? It should if be it... two arcane, so it should be... Two triggers. Uh, uh, it says the three. first time it prevents arcane damage. Oh, okay, okay. So it can only gain it once per turn. Hmm. Okay. I guess our Rune Blades would be feeding that thing like crazy. <laughs> okay, so Swarming Rune Veil, there we go. Yeah, that's why he popped in his bow yep. hand here. Makes sense. So I guess there's a Rosetta Thorn after this. Yep, for two. Going to block with the helmet to ensure that he gets an arsenal. But this is, uh, I mean, this is too much of a life deficit, right? Like yeah, we I... we we saw we saw Seb at this life deficit, but he had three frost hexes on him. So, oh, we yeah, saw. I'm... Sorry, that was the other direction as well. That was Dorinthia at at two. So, yeah. um, I mean, I, I... Uh... unless unless Nathan draw very bad hand for one yep. two turns. Otherwise, uh, I I don't see any chance for when. To combat this game. Yep, I agree. Okay. Looks like he's gonna this... sift two cards to the bottom. Okay, one of the new cards. This is a very good card. Uh, compared mm -hmm. with the uh, Whisper of the Oracles, because this yep. draw instantly, and mm -hmm. it can remove your bad hand just like using yep. Spring Below. And also it's a non-attached three. <laughs> yeah, Brophy. Yeah, such a perfect card. Okay. Snatch. Snatch. All right. It's tough for tough for when to block it because they yep. don't have any four points of defense unless they're. He also dies to lightning press here. Yeah, uh, but I, at, at this stage you can't, you can't can't play around it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean just mm. blocking through, and the uh, yep. hard draw effect doesn't. Mean a lot of things. So. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, so we see I, a pre draw. Presumably, he's just going to block for three here because the card draw doesn't really matter here. Yeah. It just gives him an arsenal choice and an embodiment, I guess. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So All right, we see the fro we see an amulet of frost. Sorry, amulet of ice into ice bind fused with another amulet of ice. Oh, he didn't have cards that blocked. Oh. Hmm. Okay. So three arcane which cannot be prevented, but it'll also freeze the arsenal, which... Yeah, which kind of sees mm. is off the problem. Yeah, but then he's just, he has to pitch a card for that. Eh. I think Nathan will just take the turn off and just play yeah. with his hand instead of his... He'll just let the arsenal freeze, I think. Yeah. I think so just... you can, you, 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 If you want to Remove you can use panels. So Yep. So I think yeah. he's just gonna take three here. He lost he, he used his quill hand, so he no longer has access to A B from do, his arms. So I do I do think Ren can he wants to crack his area of ice now is to make sure he can survive the next turn. Yep, that seems like a good idea. So actually, if if Nathan pitches a blue here, okay, yeah. So I, I was thinking he, he might want to, if he pitches a blue and crowns, then when wouldn't activate an amulet device? Yeah, yep. so, deciding uh, by Nathan. Yep, so it looks like it's just going to prevent one pick two here, go down to 18. 
now when it's going to activate amulet of ice pay two or discard one more damage that's all nathan needs can he get there hmm He's going to discard Rabble, indicating he, um, he might not have a blue. We'll see. Yeah, or he wants to pick it, pick when to activate. But, hmm. Ooh, lighting search. Okay, so this does not have go again. Again, he's still, this is still coming at a break point, though. So this is two cards and two cards and you died a lightning press. So is uh, he is holding a lightning press? Hmm. So ideally, he has a D react for four. The um, the sigil of uh, uh, sigil of uh, permafrost. But so if he has a blue and that, he can actually start to return some damage here. This is this is basically an off turn here for for Briar. Yeah, so the problem is you want to block four, block six, or block nine here because yeah, I mean you you can't respect the lightning press every turn. Yep. So if, if yeah, I that's that's any... playing to lose instead of playing to win. So the the thing is like playing playing his arsenal could be pointless. Like if it's like create a frostbite and it's like okay you make two frostbites and then that's i mean it's not doing anything unless he combines it with waning moon oh we knew it was amulet of ice right we should we we we, should, we, we knew it was that from last turn yeah. okay so giving him a frostbite token that doesn't really matter here um because if it's lightning press he could still pitch and play it and well, looks like it is lightning press. Looks like they were already in reactions, so okay. he's gonna play lightning press in response to. Oh, it's actually an instant. He can play that before, uh, unless okay. unless when is playing this before lightning search becomes a attacking card. Yeah, this 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 weird. Yeah, looks like it, it does. Oh. Nathan just played on the defense. Okay, so that, that was played on the defense step. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I, okay. I think Wayne should activate his uh, the cause there as here. Yes. He, did he? He did. Oh yeah, he played amulet vice. Yeah. 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 Might as well get some poke damage in. Bring him down to fifteen. Uh. I I mean he could be saving it for when he has the um, sigil of permafrost, so that might yeah. be that might be what he's saving it for. Looks like Earth Force Surge is going to help Bramble Spark be fused. So looks like he's going to have to contend with mixed damage this turn. Yeah, when when must have some 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 impact doing here. Otherwise, he's very likely to die. Yep. I mean, uh, Big Ice Eternal, maybe can save mm -hmm. him with an uh, amulet of ice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we see. Okay, some damage and. Uh... Okay. From the force fight. Yep. 
doesn't really hurt so much considering he just fused with the blue. But uh, sending over to Arcane, going to chip away at Briar's life total a bit. He's gonna cry and AB1 at two, so it blocks all the damage. Oh, no, no, looks like he's he needs that resource. All right, uh, it's very hard to block. Yep, this is gonna be pretty tricky. Oh, Ravenous reveals a blue sift. Ooh. Yeah. All right. Well, it's still it's minus three, but plus three, so it's still five, and one arcane. So the arcane is going to activate. Yep, it's going to put another counter on his chest piece. So five go again. Going to be a double block here, I presume. That should but, be over because he's as a. Yeah, he's with a thorn. Yeah. Yeah. At at the worst case, he can lose that. Yep. I think I think we're about to see Icelander die here. Because he if he double blocks this and then Rosetta comes in for two and two, can't block the uh, can't block the arcane. All right, so we see a block for five here. And I think we're going to see Rosetta Thorn end the game here. It's going to yeah, block for two, AB1, and he's going to take one damage. GG. That's the game. Yep, that is the game. So we see Nathan Crawford take take out Wenlaw there. Um. So it looks like the the aggro decks, you know, don't give uh, Icelander enough time to set up. And yeah, um, yeah. seems like uh, Wen had trouble. Wen just couldn't deploy his 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 uh, uh, frost hexes. He 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 never really had. Um, that's that's kind of the damage he was missing is like the frost bites dealing damage. So.